Hey, hi. It's Thomas Stanford again here with you. Thomas Stanford with Thomas Stanford 8019 And I'd like to explain something to you right now, immediately. See, the thing is, I've already made mention of this on my TikTok, but I just want you to know I'm, I'm really smart. And uh, I've got an IQ of over 180. I've already tested. I've already taken an IQ test. And uh, that's genius level for anyone that didn't know or doesn't understand how it works. Me personally, though, I'm the type of genius that I have what's known as holistic intelligence. I don't just use my raw uh, intellectual, factual, logical, rational, raw IQ intelligence in my life. I also do holistic thinking intelligence. In any case, I'm really smart. But the thing is, I want you, what I'm saying is, so are you. You're really smart. And you don't realize, but you are just as smart as me. Trust me, everyone is. It's just that there's a lot that you need to learn. And what you really need to learn is about you. You need to learn about yourself. And I don't mean just self-reflect. What I mean is learning, training, learning everything that you can. Because everything that you learn, you learn, you're actually learning about yourself through that. And the thing is, over time, after you learn enough, you'll start to notice more and more how much about you it is. It really, really, truly is. And this is no understatement. What I'm saying is, you start to notice and see how it's about you. And then you learn more about yourself at that point than you thought that you were before. And then you really start understanding things because you understand yourself better. And that's why the Greeks would say, know thyself. This is a lost ancient wisdom. People have created this insulated amnesia over. But why do you think they said that? Why didn't they say wisdom? Why didn't they say learn more, fail faster, like sometimes I say? The reason why they didn't say that, they said know thyself, is because your experience of reality understood in the right measures will actually reveal to you who you are not what you do not what uh, you ate not the job not the clothes not, not the title whatever once you start learning more and more you'll start to notice okay this is really about me and this really is about way more than just factful factfulness it's more or less everything that you could learn when you distill all knowledge down to just one singular thing it's this how you go about things how you approach things and what you ultimately do make a difference and like I said when it comes to ultimately distilling all knowledge it's individuated elements of truth not just your truth your truth we're talking about the truth which is the knowledge that you gain eventually becomes a self-sustaining not concept precept in a, in a way that's a good word for it but it's it's lacking but the thing is it's it's not about the facts Because the facts can be interpreted 
That's the point. You can interpret facts. That's where the deception comes in. And that's why we have the facts. Is because they can be interpreted, which changes the the fundamental foundation of what we're conveying. We're not telling each other the truth, which is, hey, you need to wake up and notice who you are being. That is the source of the truth of knowledge. Wake up. That's what it's saying. And Neville Goddard would say it's an awakening awakening process. Milton H. Erickson, the world's most eminent hypnotherapist, said it's an awakening process. So get in this understanding, this mindset of I need to be aware of who I am being. Because that's going to inform me of what I'm doing. And by that I mean you can fool yourself. You can you can uh, sugarcoat what you're doing. Like say I'm be doing a whole bunch of rotten stuff. Well if I don't recognize it as me being a rotten person, I'm going to excuse the rotten behavior. Just like all you rotten motherfuckers do. And that's what I'm saying. Anyone out there that's so god awful and that they can't help themselves, they gloss over the behavior by denying the fact that they were being a bad person and just being honest with themselves. I was being rotten. I'm looking at this the wrong way. I'm approaching it from purely a, 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 a self centered manner whatever it is that you're actually going through instead of denying your harvest. And that's why you never have long-term, sustainable, permanent success. No, no permanence in, in the goodness of your life. None. So what I'm saying is, that's the understanding of self. The identity. You have to first... Get real with yourself and say, hmm, I don't really like this person I'm being. Well, how do you change that? How would it feel to be this person? How would that feel? And this works for psychopaths too because they don't really have feelings. But they still understand because they copy them. They know what emotions are. They know that feeling actually is important. They feel like they're missing out because of it. And they're not. It's just the identity that they're adopting. They keep telling themselves, I am blank. I am such and such. I am this. I am that. And they just can't help themselves. Just like they can't help themselves projecting that onto others. They are this. They are that. This is that. This is that. Factfulness. Left brain, purely logical, rational factfulness. Completely blinds you to the identity. Who am I being? Not what am I doing, but who am I being? The identity. The person. Who am I being right now? Am I being... Who am I being personally? I'm being an educator. I'm being a, a compassionate... Humanitarian. By sharing the truth. That's what I'm doing. I'm sharing a message. Does that inform you as to the person I'm, that I am? No. It doesn't even inform me into the person that... I am to me. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's so important to understand the identity. And the reason why left brain people are going to have difficulty with that is because there really isn't anybody home. That's what I'm saying. You can get past this. There is hope. There's hope. Like I know one guy that watches my videos. I'm not going to reveal his name, but as a hint, he goes by a few different names. One that starts with a B. One that starts with an S. I hope that he's watching. Because he, uh, he self-identifies as a psychopath. He says, I am a psychopath. That's actually keeping him locked in that identity. But that's okay. Like I said, there's hope. Because he can, he can assume a different identity. Which is going to inform different behavior. And he doesn't really have to believe that that's what he is. I don't really believe this is what I am. But I show up to it anyway. I mean, I do in a way. I like to think that I believe that. But you, know, you and I both know, deep down, that's not true. It's the identity. So just keep it real. Why BS? Why BS anymore? Stop BSing. Stop BSing me. 
Don't BS me. You know what I'm saying. It makes sense. You want to be happy. You don't know what happiness is. Neither one of you from either side. We don't. I don't know what it is. We want to be happy anyway. We don't care. We want it. So let's get it. And this is how. This is how. This is a science. This is not just philosophy. This is not just lip service. This is a science. Repeatable. Look up E squared by Pam Grout. Yeah. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. E squared by Pam Grout. Check it out. But keep in mind that she's even got it half-assed. She doesn't know. She hasn't learned. So keep in mind and be mindful when you're reading that book. She's actually talking about mind mindfully identifying as the person regardless of the steps. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day.